Hey up woodlanders, how you doing? In episode three of the woodlog we will be gathering pea sticks, stacking timber and simply enjoying some woodland goodness. Jolly cold this morning. Uh, things are freezing. Anyway, uh, first job is to we've got to get some pea sticks in. So we'll go and do that. We're going to harvest 20 pea sticks for an order, and I'll show you uh, what a pea stick looks like. Uh, but I just said it's nice and pretty this morning with a bit of frost. Cold on the hands. Crazy school cap. But uh, hey, we'll carry on, shall we? just noticed that the landowner's been doing some thinning works in the oaks he wanted to get some oak trees thin this year so um, I've just popped up here and noticed that he's been started work on the oak trees I know you can hear that we're, uh, we're under the power lines I think the frost is making them buzz a bit so, um, we are in some hazel coppice that the power line people do to keep the hazel trees away from the power lines. Of course, the hazel coppices again. And uh, we get some half decent rods. They're not great, but they're okay. Anyway, I'm looking for some pea sticks in this. And ordinarily, I wouldn't just cut out a little bit of pea sticks out of stuff and leave the rest uncut. Um, but because this is power line clearance work, I feel a little bit better for doing it because they just come across, chuck it all in a chipper and just about keeping the power lines clear so at least I can get some materials out of it pea stick should look like this uh, we're not going to see that very well so start at the bottom bit of a point at the bottom if you can and if we work up to the top sort of a fan shape really that's what you're after about four to five foot long sort of like a hand shape that's fanned out in a way sort of branchy but not too thick so you can always some of these I might trim off a bit more so that it's so from one direction it's sort of a flat shape and the other direction it's more of a fan shape that's generally a pea stick that's out of hazel that is gives you an idea one of this afternoon's jobs is to uh, get this hazel cross cut and stacked so You'll see over here, this is sort of the, uh, the the poles that I'm getting out of this overstud hazel and this afternoon's job is to drag that out, cross cut into these stacks at the edge of a ride so that later in the summer months these can be all cross cut and ready for firewood and charcoal. So that's what I'm on to this afternoon, a bit of a back breaker but it's got to be done and then hopefully um, what happened then is these oak trees with these orange spots on, these will all be thinned and it'll just make the job of getting the oaks down and thinned a lot easier with my poles out of the way. So I will uh, carry on cutting. Frosty start this morning, but a freezing fog about minus two. And today's mission is to finish off cross cutting all of this hazel to stack the hazel on my timber stacks, and uh, hopefully, I can try and get all this in there. So, it's that pile, there's a pile through there, and there's that pile. I should just have oh, hang on. And there's even more just down there, so I've got to um, get busy with this today. I'm trying to
trying to find the most efficient way really of getting the timber out without handling it too many times and that's always a challenge when you're actually trying to it's the time that you're trying to make a bit of money and survive with trying to not waste time so last year I didn't do very well and what I did I brought a tractor in I cross cut it all put it into the tractor trailer cart it off to our own woodland and cross cut it there I'm hoping to sell the timber for firewood uh, in the over two cubic meter category so I don't have to worry too much then about seasoning it it's down to the new the um, the wood burners uh, it's their responsibility to season the wood and all I have to do is just tell them how they can do that so that's the plan I think normally I would try and save over this charcoal but there's that much of it it's going to end up as firewood and um, I think it's about the only way I can actually make really a living wage out of this sort of hazel coppice anyway that's enough of a rant I'm going to crack on now and uh, get some stacking done So these are an interesting tool, it's called a cant hook, pulp hook, timber tongs, I think some people call them. This one is Husqvarna's one, it's quite a small one this one is. And I've had this one for 20 years, that's right. And this one is one I bought fairly recently, it's got actually, it's still got the label on, if you can read that. So these are both the same size quite sharp ends on. I've used a Fiskars one which was no good because it was all it was this bit here, this angle here was all wrong and so the log would slip straight out of your hand. It was nasty. But it's amazing what kind of punishment these things will take. So I do this one handed you simply I do it in the air. Because of the sharp things you just put it on and lift and then and that's it. So it digs in and then you release it by pushing down and twisting. It's usually a bit easier than that. Yeah, sort of push down and twist and then it releases it. Really clever tools these are. I like these. I could do with a set that's slightly bigger than this. But I do recommend these. Husqvarna lifting timber tongs. That's the last log of today, thankfully. So next week we've got to do that pile down there. I tried to get that done today, but it's just no chance. It's all cross cut, it's just got to be stacked up. And then next week we're over there. So in that murky mist over there, there's some apple trees. And then beyond that, so you might be able to see the ash trees, which are those sort of silvery gray ones there, that way. And then just at the side of it, we've got some pines by the look of it. And then there's some hazel and oaks in there. And that's where we're going to start cutting next week. So that'll be on uh, next week's episode. But for now, that's about it for this week, I think. I won't go home. I'm a bit cold. It's a bit foggy and cold today. And I also want some food because I'm starving. 
and I think it's takeaway night so that'll be nice so yeah thanks for watching us this week and uh, see you next week <laughs>